Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be going over question number three from the 2018 Microeconomics exam. This one applies to the course exam description, Unit 1. Here we go. So this question starts off with Nirali. Nirali has five hours to study either history or economics. Currently, she is studying three hours of economics and two hours of history. Question A has us calculate the gain from the second hour of studying history. In order to do that, we need to look at the marginal benefit of that second hour. The first hour, she has a score of 40% or 40 points out of 100. For the second hour, the total score is now 60. That's a change or a marginal benefit of a score of 20 points. So that's your answer here. You just show the math in order to get this point because it says calculate. 60 minus 40, that's the new score minus the old score, and that gives us a marginal benefit of the second hour of studying of 20 points. For part B, we need to look at Nirali's opportunity costs for that additional hour of history studying. Take a look at the score that Nirali would have had if she had been able to study an extra hour of economics. Four hours of economic studying would have given her a score of 96. But when she goes down to three hours in order to get that second hour of studying history, it costs her some points. She drops down to a score of 90. In order to find this answer here, you just calculate it. You take the 96 score she would have had with four hours, subtract the 90 points scored with three hours of studying, and it gives us six points. That's the opportunity cost of the second hour of studying history. You get that down, and you've got this point. For part C, we're looking at Nirali's opportunity cost for studying history longer and longer. With each additional hour of studying history, the score on her history exam continually increases. But the score on her economics exam continually decreases with each additional hour lost in the ability to study economics. And as the marginal cost increases, that tells us the opportunity cost of studying history continually increases. In order to get this right, all you have to do is say the opportunity cost increases, but reference the marginal cost here. Each additional hour costs her a greater and greater amount of points. So because those marginal costs are increasing, the opportunity cost is increasing. If you say that, you get the point. For part D, we're looking at the best place for Nirali to allocate her five hours of studying economics and history. Currently, she is studying three hours of economics and two hours of history, and that gives her a combined score of 150 points. But if she adjusts her allocation of her human capital, she can get a combined score of 154 points by adjusting by just a little bit. If you move down one line where she is studying two hours for economics and three hours for history, she has a better combined score of 154 points. So all you have to do here is say three hours of economics, two hours of history, and you'll get your point. For part E, we find out that Nirali has an additional hour that she could devote to either studying history or microeconomics. In order to find out where she should put that hour, take a look at the marginal benefit for each of those subjects. If she studies history, she will have a marginal benefit of five more points on that exam. When it comes to microeconomics, there's a marginal benefit of eight. Here, to get this point, just say microeconomics because there is a larger marginal benefit. That should get you the points, but use the numbers as much as you can. Eight is greater than five. And there you have it. If you got all of that right, you are definitely on your way to acing your next economics exam. If you want to support this channel, make sure you like and subscribe below. Then head over to ReviewEcon.com where there are lots of review activities and games to help you practice the skills you've been learning in economics. If you want to support this channel even more, Make sure you head over to ReviewWeekend.com and purchase the total review packet with everything you need to know for the AP, microeconomics, and macroeconomics exams.
Thank you. I'll see you next time.